Hi everyone, my name is Liz Millian and I'm here to do a video about Mile Fuddler 21! Now Solway Coast AUNV is a beautiful part of the world and I am going to be showing you how to draw some Romans. Now if you've tried to draw a person before and you've drawn it wrong or you've got the eye going up there, I'm going to show you some top tips today about how to draw some really easy peasy characters and I've also got some sheets as well for you to download afterwards and have a bit of a practice. Now I find drawing people a little bit tricky and people from the olden days are quite important to get right actually because you've got to get their outfits right. Now I haven't done anything uh, for Romans but I have done Roman workshops in schools and this book here was um, set in like the 1800s so that's quite modern really for history and I had to get all these different sorts of uh, characters right and that was obviously set in the naval uh, sort of scene and this is Billy and the Bull, the Tale of the Durham Ox and this was all set in uh, the 1800s as well. You can see all those people who've got funny faces and they've got olden days clothes on. But the clothes that we're going to be looking at today is very, very specialised. It is all to do with keeping yourself safe. So for a Roman soldier, you wouldn't just wear normal clothes, you would wear armour. And I'm sure you've seen lots of different types of armour from over the thousand years that everyone has been at war. So we protect our heads with helmets, we have shields and we have javelins. If you have a look at my picture here you can see that there are some really fancy things to do with this character and he might even have a cape because it might get a bit chilly on the old sea defences. Now Mile Fortlet 21 was at the end of Hadrian's Wall and Hadrian's Wall was built by slaves and Romans and it was also designed by the great Emperor Hadrian himself and when he came over in 122 AD he ordered it to be built and it was thought to be his great greatest achievement but do you know what it wasn't very good at keeping out those naughty northern raiders so it was very impressive to look at and do you know what they lime washed it as well and it was white and you could see it for miles and miles away so it was really good and they used to stop people coming through and they used to tax people and things like that and the fact it's there today still is an amazing thing so if you wanted to go and see Hadrian's Wall make sure you go and see uh, Mile Fortlet 21 as well because uh, it's sort of partially reconstructed and you can get a good idea of where our little soldier that we're going to draw actually stood and watched out for so so today we are going to grab our pencils, enough of me chattering on, and we're going to grab our paper and we're going to try and draw a Roman soldier. And we might even draw a raider in the background as well. Okay, so see you in a minute. We've got a face shape just started on here. So what I suggest you do is on the left side of your picture, draw a face, because I think it would be quite nice fun to put that radar over here sneaking. So I'm going to draw a schnozzy nose. And I'm going to make him look a little bit, not exactly happy, but not exactly grumpy. He looks like he's concentrating, because I can't think of a a worse job than standing <laughs> watching for raiders on the coast at Mile Fort Look 21. It might be quite a hard job and you wouldn't have your tablet or your phone to muck about with. You'd have to keep watch. So it would be quite a tricky job. Uh, I'm going to make him look quite sort of stern with his eyebrows there. Now, just to show you about his face, if he was really excited, he'd be like, yeah. It's nearly dinner time. If he was going, oh, I think something's going on over there. Or if he'd spotted a raider, he'd be going, oi, come back here with that basket of fish. So his eyes and his mouth give away how he is feeling now. He's going to have a helmet on. And the helmet is going to come across here like that. And there are all different types of helmets depending on his position in the army. And I'm going to go above that face shape like that. Now you might have seen some soldiers with a big red plume. And I think that means he's like very high up. He's like a general or something. But this character is just a bog standard guard. So his face, he's got these plates that protect his face, like that go onto his cheeks. Okay, so now he's looking really Roman, isn't he? 
And I think I'm going to give him a bum chin. <laughs> no, this is a very tricky drawer along. Okay, so don't worry if you have gone a little bit wonky or you think you've gone wrong. If you think you've gone wrong, it's just your brain learning how to draw something. And I've drawn this character a couple of times before, but if you don't worry about it, then you sort of just sort of relax a little bit. And I'm going to put a little bit of shading on. So we're not going to put much colour on today like that. Okay, so there we have his helmet. And you could also put like little swirly sort of S's as well because some of the armour was really like decorated and ornate and really beautiful. It was always in really good condition as well. And that's the good thing about the Roman army. They used to have lots of money to throw at it. So we're going to do his neck. And his neck wouldn't really have much on show because of his um, armour and his armour we're going to put a shoulder like this and I'm going to start to draw one here. Now the thing is I want to show you how to draw his face and also we're going to draw a shield coming off there like that. Now I'm going to try and move my self back a little bit because I'm going to draw his hand. Now his hand, this is going to be awful. <laughs> Hands are awful anyway. I am nervous because I normally practice this with pencil first. So what I'm doing with my crayon, I am sketching and then once I'm all right with that, I'm going to come round like that. Now he would have um, a sword, but he wouldn't have it drawn all the time because swords are quite heavy. So he would stand with his javelin. Now his javelin would probably stand here. If I could draw that again, I would. But if he's heard something, he might be going like that. And I'm going to put his leather sort of shoulder protectors on here like that. And the good thing is we don't have to draw the other arm because it's hiding behind this shield. Now the shields they used to have, they used to have oval ones. They also had lovely square ones as well. Sort of square ones, rectangles. And you can just put it going off the page because it is really, really long because it has to protect him from his, all the, um, the weapons and everything. So there we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of a bow on his tunic. Now under his tunic there would be lots and lots of leather all stitched together like that and this would be made of um, metal and so would his helmet. Now if I could draw that helmet again I'd probably make it a bit bigger but I'm not going to worry about it. Now if you wanted to get your ruler you could do but what I'm going to do is just get my big pencil Now I am just going to draw a line going through there. If you wanted to get your ruler, that is fine. Like that. And at the top of it, we're going to do a really sharp looking spear, like a javelin. And I have got really thick pen here. And I'm just going to come down like this. Now you're probably thinking, oh, that's not fair. She's got all the cool stuff. There we go. And you could colour that in dark brown because it would have been made of wood, but I'm making it look quite cool. And it's black like that. And his hands, like that. He would also maybe have leather protectors on his wrists, which would be dark brown made of leather. And that was just to protect your um, vital veins here. And that hand is a little bit dodgy, but it's okay. And his tunic, he would have a white or red tunic and the tunic would be underneath. And this was just sort of like the base layer to keep his body warm. Okay, so you can also put a bit of shadow into here. We can't really see his hair. We could always put a little bit of curl around there, but I don't think we really need it. And I'm always looking, thinking about things that I need to add. And the good thing about this video is you can have a look and you can pause it, can't you? And if you wanted to have a look on the internet, look at what uh, pictures there are of different Roman soldiers, you could maybe do a whole battalion all watching out. And you notice that I'm putting 
a little bit of stubble on now. Do you think he needs a beard? Now, I love drawing beards. So if I'm not sure about something, I would draw around it like that. So if you think yours needs a beard, add a beard. I think I might not bother. Okay, now we're ready for our Naughty Raider at Fortlet 21. Now there was sort of, to give the impression that it was made of stone, we're going to put some stones on there, but you don't need to draw every single stone, that would be crazy and unnecessary. Now I'm going to draw my naughty little raider here and I might do like a little kid or something and I'm going to do a really small square head and the sheet that I've down, got for you to download has got a little naughty kid on there so I'm going to make him look naughty. He's so titchy tiny you probably can't even see him. Now this looks like a really naughty kid in your class probably and I'm going to give him a bit more of a raider look about him by giving him lots of scratty hair because I doubt that he's ever had um, a bath in his life. He probably just dips in the sea, doesn't he? Now, lots of people in the olden days used to stink a bit. <laughs> but the Romans used to do lots of um, bathing and they used to, they realised the, the importance of keeping clean, especially in an army where lots of diseases um, could pass through. So he's actually peering over the wall Okay, and he might be, you might want to do a thought bubble of like a basket of bread or something like that. And over this hill here, we could also do the sea, couldn't we? So there's our coast. And we could also draw a tree here. So when you are an illustrator, it's all about bringing your picture to life and it's about making stories out of a picture. So if you wanted to have um, maybe like a, a diary entry about what it was like to be a raider or what it was like to be a Roman soldier guarding the fortlet, um, you could write a story about that or even a storyboard, couldn't you? So have a little raider here. Maybe he's so hungry and so grubby He's really, really can't wait to get over this wall and get some food for his family. Maybe that's why he's doing it. Maybe he's missing his family back home in Rome. Okay, so maybe he's a little bit glum as well. Maybe you could describe a big fight scene between them. Maybe he's chasing him with his big spear and he might have a club. So, all very exciting. Now, put your name on, your picture at the bottom if you like. I always put it on really small writing somewhere over there and I might even put Romans up there like that. Now if you thought that Roman was hard I think you might find this one a little bit more tricky but I didn't want to do another man picture because we have quite a lot of men in the Roman times so what I've got I've got my pencil I've got loads of fine liners I've got some colours and I'm going to show you how to draw the queen of the British Celt tribe now you've probably heard about her in history and she is called Bodica or Bodicea and I know she saw those pesky Romans off <laughs> in AD 60 or 61 and it's got nothing to do with our mild fortlet because it was a long time before it was built. But I sometimes think that women get forgotten about in history. So what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on drawing a wild warrior woman. Now, this doesn't have to be Boudicca. It can be just a Highlands raider as well. So I think we can just work it out. Can you see I'm doing a really loose line? And that means I can rub that out really easily. So if you press down really hard, it's no good um, because you can't really um, rub it out. So I'm doing really light sketches. I'm going to put a long, slim neck on her like that. So try and get a nice sort of face shape. Now, I don't want her to be smiling. I want it to be a little bit sort of fiery and feisty. You might have heard of that word. Um, 
she's going to be determined to get across Hadrian's Wall if she is a raider. Now she might look a little bit cross-eyed there, <laughs> but we don't want her to look glamorous. She's a Highland warrior. Now we're going to give her little bits here like that. And she would have lots of sort of layers on because it is pretty cold, as we all know. And they wouldn't have lovely houses, central <laughs> heating in like we have. So they had lots of layers of clothes. Now we're going to worry about that arm in a bit. Now we want to give her a bit of a waist, which we didn't do with that Roman soldier. And I haven't drawn this for a while. So just like you, I'm sort of trying to guess where I'm going to sort of stop and we don't really need to see her fit because I thought it would be quite nice if we put like long grasses down here. Um, so I'm sketching it out first of all with, I wanted to put a bit of thing there, put a pencil. Now, just like the Roman, we can hide our arm with a shield. Now her shield wouldn't be huge, but it would be just enough to sort of keep her safe from those big Roman swords and javelins that we've been looking at. So she's got wild hair. This thing on her head looks a bit like a headband, but it's actually um, like a th sort of thread or um, a piece of like rope or something just to sort of decorate her face. So I've got all my wiggly wiggly lines out of the way and I'm going to do some pen in a minute. Now this hand, I'm going to zoom in on this hand a little bit. This hand is quite tricky, so we need to see it up close. So she's got a little thumb and a bit like the soldier we drew. She's got four little sausages. She wouldn't have lovely nails. She'd have very hard working hands, a bit like mine. <laughs> I've got hard working hands. I've always got pen on my hands. So there we go. So she could have a sword or we could do a long spear. So I'm going to move my crayons over here. I think I'm going to give her like um, a sword. She's probably stolen it off a of Roman, so it's probably quite good quality. Now, instead of using my pencil, I've actually found my lovely Blues and Million ruler that um, a lovely teacher made me. And I'm going to come up like that. Now, if you wanted to get a real sword, you could do a uh, look on the internet and get a really nice sort of sword. But I'm just going to put a very sort of simple line like that. Put some wiggly wiggles on. That was quick, wasn't it? Oh, I wish all my colouring in and drawing could be that fast. <laughs> Now, I thought that would save us a bit of time. So you can see I've got a really pale, pale pink here. And you probably can't even see that much on the screen there. But um, a lot of sort of people from Scotland and up there have got very pale, sort of freckly skin. But you've got to remember they didn't have sort of sun cream and stuff, did they? So. I'm going to get a brown here and put a little bit of brown coming around there. If you want to put some freckles on, you can do. Oh, a Roman soldier was from Rome, so he would have had lovely golden olive skin. So I'm going to put some little freckles on. So all over here like that. And I wanted to be a little bit sort of uh, a bit sort of scary and aggressive because I think she looks quite cool like that, doesn't she? I wanted to be a warrior, remember? Okay, so here she is. So while I've got my black, I'm going to put some shadow on. Can you see how I'm holding it? Putting it on its side. Now she would have had a dark dress on because you would not want to be wearing white in the Highlands. <laughs> Crawling around, stalking Romans and jumping out on them. White is not the colour. And also it's quite a difficult colour to to get as well. So I'm just putting a bit of dark all the way around here. And while I've got my dark, I'm going to put some dark behind here. Now, as I said at the beginning, people are really hard to draw. Okay, because we're doing the Romans, there's not a lot else I could show you. 
how to draw. I could show you how to draw Mile Fortlet 21, but we only really have sort of an idea of what it was due to a sort of recon... Look at that. <laughs> We've got another one here. Reconstructing it. Okay, so I wouldn't want to show you how to draw something I didn't know what it looked like properly. And I sort of can imagine what a woman warrior would look like anyway. And do you know what? It's good fun. Again, it is one of the hardest videos we've done for Solway Coast, but sometimes you have to push yourself. Now I've got a goldeny kind of yellow here. It might also be a little bit darker. And the beauty of this is you can pause it and colour in at your leisure as well. Because I know some of you love colouring in. I've got a brown here. I'm gonna give her a, a really lovely ugh, <laughs> brown dress. And these would be wool and all man, um, natural materials. I bet they would have loved a nice fleecy blanket. I bet they were freezing. <laughs> My goodness, we're lucky to be alive in this time, aren't we? There we go. So while I've got my brown, I'm going to put a bit of a brown thread across here and then I'm going to start putting her hair on. Now, I think hair can be quite tricky to draw. So what I do is I just put a bit of shadow on that black and then I build it up. Now, I'm not doing my best colouring because I sort of want it to look like she's been dragged through a hedge backwards a bit. Uh, and I used, they used to have like bone combs and things like that but I've uh, got to remember they didn't have shampoo or products <laughs> and they certainly didn't have hair dryers or baths very often they probably had a bit of a wash down in in the river or by the sea but Solway so there we go now her hair is still looking a little bit weird so I'm just going to get my dark black and shade over it like that going over her ears and basically art is all about just mucking about seeing what you fancy doing now I want to put um, a little bit of a rosy cheek on her so I've got a tiny little bit of red here and it's also got a bit of black on the side which looks quite nice she could be a bit bruised she might be a little bit mucky and look I'm smudging it like that. Ooh, wow, this is taking a while, isn't it? So if you um, smudge your work sometimes, you could always lean on a bit of paper. That's a good thing that I do. Now she would have probably a wooden shield. Again, if you wanted to research what her shield might have looked like, you can look it up on the internet, can't you? Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my black crayon and if we were drawing Boudicca, we could draw, uh, well, we could draw anything in the background really, couldn't we? We could do some sort of fir trees, just like we did in the Roman one, like that. We could also do a attacking at night when it's pitch black. You could always draw yours with a big torch, couldn't you? Ooh, and down here, I'm going to draw her in long, sort of hilly grasses. Like that. So, just putting my crayon on its side. So, we haven't got a lot of colour behind her. you wanted to put speech bubble on there or some action lines you can do you could also do some little ching kind of lines and then once you're happy with your hair get your pen and go around it a little bit now I don't expect you to do that amazingly because you've never done it before but have a little go Okay, so 
that was our draw along. Now, if that was a bit tricky compared to the other videos, I apologise, but it is a really tricky thing to draw. And the other sheets that I've got for you were a lot easier to draw because I love drawing in pencil. When I draw in pen, I always get a little bit worried that I'm going to go wrong, but I think that's worked out all right. How was your picture? Did you do better than you thought you were going to do? Or did you do a lot of rubbing out because people are really hard to draw. Okay, so have a look at your picture. You could always redraw it from beginning to end if you wanted to, but I think you've probably done a really good job. So thank you ever so much for joining me today. I had a wonderful time talking about the Romans. And remember, if you wanted to go and see the Solway Coast, AONB, you could go and see the Fortlet and you could take your family and have a brilliant day. You can always take your sketchbook and sketch out some of the characters you might see there. Okay, so thank you ever so much and I'll see you again soon.